Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about a, a real life thing that happens when you're writing. Um, I am working on a Kindle Vela serial right now called Horrywood Confessions of a Low Budget Horror Filmmaker. I was doing fine with it. I wrote the first three chapters. Everything was trucking along at a good pace. And then I kind of hit a wall. And I'm going to try to talk about this without getting very emotional. Um, in my um, poet vlog thing I have, I it's going to come out next week or something, um, I get into a little more detail about how I was feeling and shit. One of the things that happened through it is that this whole like filmmaking memoir thing that I'm doing here, it's fun and it's exciting and it's raunchy and it's just like loads of fun and tons of good information if you are an aspiring filmmaker. But the other thing that happened at the point in the story that I am is my relationship with my kid. Like this period that I'm writing about right now is so important to me as far as like being a father. And that was like a wonderful time in my life. And I'm not ready emotionally to write about that part of my life. I had to come to terms with being okay to take that out of this fairly accurate true story of my life. So it's been about a week where I've been wrestling with this. Like I hit a wall and I didn't know what to do and I didn't know how to get around it. And so I was going back and forth trying to figure out all these different ways that I can do it and still include that part of my life in there. But at the end of the day, it, regardless of how I feel about it, it doesn't move the story forward. It doesn't move the narrative forward. So I basically made the decision to take all of that stuff kind of about my family out of the book altogether and just focus on the actual process of filmmaking, trying to get projects off the ground and the whole fucking thing. And it's really difficult because like I homeschooled my kid until they were in eighth grade, seventh or eighth grade. I can't remember now. And the reason for that was, was because my band was either on tour or I was having to be on location at the drop of a hat to film. And sometimes that was local, but other times that was in Minnesota, that was in South Dakota, that was in um, Oregon, you know, like, and then other times it was just kind of far away, a couple hours out of LA. Like, my kid, being with me during that time was a constant you know what i'm saying but it doesn't it doesn't move the story along so i had to make the tough decision to take that part out and honestly it's really hard because again that was the most meaningful part of this whole period of my life but I had to understand that I'm not writing a book on parenting. I'm writing a book on filmmaking, and that needs to be okay. So once I figured that out, I was like, okay, cool. Like, this will move along at a, a decent quip. I don't think that's the right terminology. And then a second problem came up, which was the fact that so much of my filmmaking career happened either through or in conjunction with my music career, you know? And I've talked about this before. Like, the whole reason why I started making movies in the first place was because I had a record label, and my record label got picked up by a distributor, 
and the distributor also distributed films and had their own um, production company that made films and I was making music videos for the bands on my label and they wanted me to start putting music from my label onto their films and then that turned into them wanting the people in the bands on my label to be in the movies that they were making and then that turned into me just making movies with the people in the bands that were on the label for them to put out you know like that's all fine and good but the problem with this is is that i was already in the process of trying to put a film together when all this other shit happened and in making a book on how to like survive as a low budget filmmaker I don't want to give the impression that the way to do it is to have a band and a record label, make music videos, get with a distribution company. Like, that's not the, um, the chain of events that needs to happen for everybody. And then on top of that, that whole deal ended up falling through before the first movie even came out. So it ended up not doing anything other than just being a catalyst to make me do something. You see what I'm saying? And I would much rather write another book at a later date about my music career and how to not fucking starve as a musical artist. So, especially like the first year of my filmmaking... It's so, like, intricately tied with the filmmaking, or the music. Well, I can't remember which one I started with, but you see what I'm saying. Like, there's a part of me that's like, how am I going to add this in and then just never talk about it again? Because once I left Oregon and came back to Southern California, my filmmaking career took off. And the music career was still there but it had absolutely nothing to do with the filmmaking that was another big decision because like if i were to write about the music i would feel like i would need to continue to write about the music that like parallels the filmmaking as we go so i decided i'm not going to do that and I will just mention it a little here and a little there in passing um, and do that. But when we hit these walls where, and we've all done it, you're writing a novel, everything's going good, you're just jamming, your fingers are flying on the keys, everything seems amazing, and then suddenly it just, whoosh, it all stops. And um, it's kind of inexplicable, and you don't know why. But the lie that we tell ourselves when that happens is either this is too hard or I'm not good enough or I knew this would happen. Um, I've started so many books and never finished them. Oh, God, I'm such a loser. Blah, 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 the whole thing. But what you have to do is when this happens, it's usually happening because there is a problem with what's happening not a problem with you but a problem with what's happening and you need to identify what that problem is and as soon as you can identify that and fix it then you're right back to it and you could just keep going and jamming again you know but we need to understand that the doubt that i always fucking talk about being the bitch the thing that where you're like oh of course i can't do this of course, that's not a real thing. Like, this is just like if you were, I don't know, baking a cake and the cake didn't rise or whatever. And you're just like, well, I guess I'll never cook again. This is a fucking stupid. Or you could have just used the right ingredients and then you just go and you add the thing that you're supposed to add as if you could recook a cake and then, um, you know, and then you just move on with it. So analogy is not good, but you understand the point I'm trying to make. 
So with that said, when you hit a wall, identify the problem, fix the problem, move on. Okay? That's all you got to do. So I hope this was helpful. Um, just keep doing the thing. Type hard, everybody. Keep buying my books, including Last Chance for Gas, about Last Chance gas stations, up now on my Etsy shop. And because of all this, I was able to finish the next chapter of Horrywood, which is up on Kindle Bella now. So chapter four is up. And um, hopefully, I think I'm just going to keep doing as many as I can through this month and see what happens. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe it's cool, maybe it's not. So, um, that'll be the plan. And then once we get to next year, I might just do it once a week and see how that goes. But, you know, anyway, it's time for everybody, and I'll talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.